birthday always falls like right after the semester ends it's always done that even in high school which is a blessing and a curse because it means i have something to look forward to after uni and after school but also means if i'm planning something big for my birthday then i have to plan it during the worst part of the semester which is exactly what happened this year i had a birthday trip coming up as soon as exams finished my flight left for melbourne but also i had to do my final exam and do all of my assignments. That last week before that trip destroyed me. So stressful. That's what this video is basically. My last week of uni, preparing for my trip. I went to uni early on this day. I had an exam to study for, so I was so stressed about this exam. I've been a student since 2021, so I've had like online exams, but now it's back to in person because people keep cheating with ChatGPT. I will say I did well. I did really well. Better than I ever could have imagined but i i didn't know that i did well see this is me uh, trying not to cry and then going on like retail therapy i went shopping because i thought that i bombed that exam i thought i bombed it bro that's not my fault they lied hello we are in my bathroom just got back from work i have to take my makeup off but in the morning this bathroom gets so much sun like a lot of sun that i'll do my makeup with like bright bright direct sunlight and then I'll go out into the world looking like a clown. I'm just gonna wash all my makeup off. I started on my raglan. I'm just doing the ribbing. I'm gonna do the ribbing and then I'm going to like work on it top down like that. And I decided that I'm making it majority out of this color. And then I'm gonna add a stripe of the pink. Yeah, just like one stripe of the pink across there. I'm using a four millimeter because I want the stitches to be tight. And then, I got these press-ons. I like the idea of press-ons, but I don't actually like them practically. So like, I'll have them on for like a week, a day, and then I'll just take them off and I won't feel bad about taking them off because they're reusable. Whereas with really clear relics, if I just rip them off after a week, it's a waste of like $70. So I prefer having press-ons. So yeah, just wanted to say hello. I don't think I've actually talked to you this whole time. finished all of my assignments yesterday i submitted my last assignment <gasps> i got one of these and we're gonna do my eyebrows i've actually never done my eyebrows with this i usually get my eyebrows done something that's always just gotten done so do them by myself kind of scary and also i'm going to pack my toiletries i got my makeup bag this cute one from cozy studios like crochet accessories i got scissors in here Oh my god, I need to water my plants. Look at them. As soon as uni gets busy, I just turn into the most absent parent. Okay, I have to get my suitcase out of storage. Now, I'm just gonna start packing. I have to do some laundry, so I wanna, I wanna see what I have to wash. Yeah, it's kind of late notice. Tattoos usually book like, a month in advance to be honest timing kind of worked amazing on that because as soon as i finished my sister called me so now we're all booked we booked activities we booked like a little river tour and stuff i tried to bring as much crochet as i could because duh it needs to it needs to be taken out for a walk so bringing my hexagon cardigan i'm bringing my peaches and banana vest and then i'm bringing my heart vest i look at the temperatures like the weather i think it might be raining which is really upsetting. And I think it's gonna be really cold because I was looking at the temperatures. Brisbane today was like 22 degrees. Melbourne was like 15 degrees max. I just don't know if I'm like overestimating how cold or underestimating how cold it is. Cause like, it's gonna be cold, but also we're gonna be spending a lot of time outside walking, right? And like when you're like out in the sun with the sun beaming down on you and you're walking, you don't really feel as cold, but like, it's still gonna be cold, obviously. like. But then like when you go inside, like we have shopping days and a lot of that time is going to be spent inside. So it's like, is it going to be that cold? I just don't know. I just don't know. So I'm trying to be prepared for everything. So like that's why I'm bringing layers so that I can, if it's not that cold, I'll be fine. But if it is cold, I'll also be fine. I've got backup plans on backup plans. I'm going to eat and then I'm going to crochet for the rest of the night because you know why? You know why? I've got no assignments. So I can just do whatever I want. I can crochet because I've got no assignments.
Good morning guys! I feel like I have not spoken about my crochet at all in this video but it's just because it's something that I'm like doing while I'm on the bus, while I'm like out and about like I just sit down, do a couple rows So this is going to be a raglan! I made the collar too big so I'm gonna make it rolled and so yeah I wanted the stitches to be close so this is exactly what I wanted so I'm very very happy at the moment Hello, what's up? I just got home from work and if you saw, I did go shopping. I went to Cotton On to try on some stuff. I'm not gonna buy that right now because I'd like to buy it in Melbourne. Like even if I'm literally buying the exact same thing that I tried on here in Brisbane, I do wanna buy it in Melbourne because what you spend when you're on holiday doesn't count. But if I buy it now, it will count, you know? This is it so far. It's pretty slow going, but that's kind of, I kind of wanted a long-term project low key. But yeah, so far, ooh, I might have to, oh, I might have to try this on. I've got the washing machine going with the last little bits of my clothes. I literally just needed to wash one jumper. Right now, I need to iron these jeans and then after that, I'm going to pack my carry-on and I think I'm just going to bring this. I gotta take out all this stuff. This is my uni bag. <gasps> this is giving me flashbacks, bro. I remember throwing everything back in here after the exam and running. A great kiss a treat. Okay, come and rise to no one, isn't it? Okay, go on, sir. Good morning. It is... 8 12 can you see i don't know if you can see that this is my suitcase okay actually i'm getting grossed out that it's on the bed People always say, I'll oh, put your bulkiest shoes on in the plane. All of my shoes are the bulkiest shoes. All of my shoes are platforms because I'm short. So all of them are super bulky. This is platform, this is platform. And the ones I'm wearing on the plane are platform. Like, ah! I think I might try weighing this now just to make sure. And I also have to double check what the weight limit is. I think it's 23. The flight is tomorrow. So the plan for tonight, shower, eat, put my nails on, finish packing, edit because i have to edit a video that's supposed to go up literally today and i haven't started so that video might be late as you saw i did buy these ones i don't know which one i'll use right now i think i'll do this one let's get started i'm gonna put these ones on um what's your ups we're going off to gk oh, we've got our first kiss in rocky i know you've had your ups and downs but i just i know you can sometimes i forget that we have a boyfriend <laughs> Hi guys, I'm all done. I don't know if you can see me. Does this help? Can you see me now? I did my nails. I love my press-ons and I love that I can take them off in two days when I inevitably get sick of them in two days. I also thought that I should get a disposable camera, use it all over my trip and then get it developed. I feel like that'd be so cute and so fun. So yeah, I'm just gonna leave the video here. Thank you for watching. I'm so excited. My flight is literally tomorrow. I always forget that I get fly anxiety. Like every single time I'll plan a trip and be so excited. And then the night before, I just cannot sleep. Like I physically cannot fall asleep. Like I stay up till 3 a.m. not being able to sleep because I'm just so anxious. So here I am. Not sure when I'll go to bed tonight, but we'll see. Anyway, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you want to see more of my Melbourne adventures. I will be filming the entire trip, of course, because I want to look back at the memories. I'll see you guys around.